what's up guys this is audit from tech zizi and the next 10 to 15 minutes i'm going to show you how to make a complete website so i'm going to go through the entire process from getting a domain name to hosting it to actually making the website and all of this for free in the next 10 minutes so let's get started so to do all of this we're going to be using a website called pro free host so just search for that so this is the name and now you'll have to click on the first link after that click on register now then you just have to add your email id and your password and now as you can see i've got an email from pro free host to activate my account so i'll just click on activate account after that you just have to log in again so click on login on the top right and once you've logged in just go to the client area so click on the top right and then just click on create new account after that just tick the box next to free domain and then you'll have to enter the name for your website so i'll just keep tech is easy and then i have two options so this is the first one or this is the second one and you can decide whichever one you like more and then just click on the tick to save it so now I've gone back to my client area and as you can see the domain name has come here. So now just click on manage. From here you'll get a few settings and now to start building a website just click on control panel which is written over here. And from here you can basically install WordPress and then you can customize your website. So in 5 seconds it will redirect you. And the first time you just have to accept some conditions and then you'll reach this page. So over here you'll have to scroll down and then just click on the apps installer. So this is under software. After that the first option is WordPress. So personally I'd suggest just using WordPress. So click on that. Over here they have some details and all of that but just click on install now. Scroll down and over here you'll have to enter the username and password. So both of these are extremely important so just keep something that you'll remember or if you want you can just take a screenshot of this for future reference. So right now I'll just type in a username and then you can just type in any password that you want. So once you've noted this down then you can just scroll down and click on install. And now this step might take some time so you'll just have to wait. And now as you can see they've said that the software was installed successfully. To start editing your website just click on the administrative URL. So basically you'll have WP admin written, click on that. We've reached the WordPress dashboard and on the top right you can just see your account name and details. So now the first thing that you'll want to do is customize your site. So you can either put a theme or customize it yourself. Personally I'd suggest just getting a theme because they have so many of them and it's much simpler. For that click on change your theme completely. So currently this is the theme and to change it I'll just click on change which is written over here. Now just click on wordpress.org themes that's written over here. And now as you can see, you have tons of themes. So based on what website you're making, you can just find a theme for that. Or else you can just search in the top. So if I just search tech, I can see a few of these themes. So let's say I like this one, that's Technify. I'll just click on install and preview. And now it'll just download the theme. And now as you can see, the theme has come here and you can edit everything over here. So on the left, you have many options. So the first is site identity. If you click on that, you can change the logo, the site title, the tagline. So let's say you want to change the logo, click on change logo. Then just click on select file and you'll have to upload one from your PC. So as you can see, I've added my logo and now I'll just click on select. You can crop it if you want. My logo has come on the top left. After that I can add a title. So I've added tech is easy. Then even a tagline if you want. And then you can go back. After that you can change the fonts. So over here you can select the font for the heading and for the body. So let's say I want open sans. And if I want roboto. I've selected both of those. And now as you can see the fonts have changed. Then the colors, the header image, background, you can change all of this from here. 
So let's say I want to change the header image. I'll click on that. Click on add new image. Then the same way, I'll click on upload files, select the file. And as you can see, my header has come here. After that, another important setting is menus. So just click on that. Then under primary menu, over here you can decide what all you want to keep. So currently it's home, about, blog, contact. Let's say I want to remove blog. I'll just click on that. Scroll down. And then click on remove. And as you can see, it's gone from here. Then if you want to add a new one, then click on add items. Click on add new page and just type it. So I've added tech and click on add. And now even in the preview, it's come here. After that, the next option is widgets. So currently they have options for the photo widget, which is basically these four different boxes that you see here. So if I just click on that, I can edit each one of these. So let's say I want to remove the words this site. Then I can just click on it and remove both of them. And now it's just become about. And then you can just delete this and type whatever you want. Then you can make it bold, make it italics, add media. You have all of those options over here. Then if you scroll down, there's an option for search. But let's say you want to remove it. So then just click on it. After that, click on the three dots and click on remove block. And as you can see, it's gone. Then the same way you can edit, let's say your address, your hours, all of that. And if you want to add a new widget, click on plus. Let's say you want to add a quote. Then you can click on that. You can just type your quote. And as you can see, it's come here. So basically you have full control over the photo. And then if you want to see how it looks, you have three preview options at the bottom. So the first is for a laptop, then for a tablet and then for a mobile. So if I just click on the mobile one, this is how it look on a mobile. And basically once you've made few changes, you can just click on activate and publish on top to save the changes. So now I'm sure you'll be wondering that we've made changes to the header, then the footer at the bottom. But now how can you make changes to the actual body? So let's say all of this written over here, like feature one, feature two. So for all of this, you'll just have to type your site's name on a new tab. So then I'll just type in techiseasy.unaux.com in a new tab. After that, I'll click on edit page. So basically this allows you to edit everything on this page. And now as you can see, I can make all the changes. So let's say I want to change this picture. I'll click on it. And if I want to remove it, I can just click on delete and it's gone. Then if I want to remove these words over here, I can delete it and just type hello. So the same way you can make tons of changes. You can control everything over here. So let's say under feature one, I want to type something. I can just put that under feature two, feature three. And then once you're done, just click on preview and click on preview in a new tab. And as you can see, this is how it looks. It obviously doesn't look good right now because I haven't spent much time on it. But all of the changes which you've made, they've come here, like the word sub or even the footer, all of that has come here. And then once you've made all of the changes, just click on update. And as you can see, it's updated. So now if I just go to a new tab and go to techiseasy.unaux.com, this is what everyone's going to see. And if you want a more detailed video on how to edit a WordPress site to make it look better, then I've put a link in the description. So the video isn't mine, but I found it extremely helpful when I was learning this. So you can check that out. Goodbye.